I mean, I always love doing stuff in community. I think the Mavericks have done a great job over my career to do great things. Uh, we do appearances everywhere on Christmas, and uh, we do stuff on Thanksgiving. We go to hospitals. I mean, we've done some amazing things in the community over the years, and uh, so I can't even name my favorite thing. Uh, it's, it's just so many things that we, we love to do and do every year. And, the hoop cam or uh, dealing with kids is definitely uh, is definitely up there. A little basketball question: You surprised yeah. that the Spurs would stoop to such levels as turning off the AC? <laughs> hey, it happens. It happens, I guess. Um, what, what? You, it, you know, I think it's it just happens. You know, it's, uh, uh, stuff happens in, in everywhere, and the only way they could have change it if they would have called the game uh, but since the fans and everybody was rare they decided to play the, the game and everybody just had to deal with it you ever suspected uh, trickery on the, another team's no, part I, I think oh uh, uh, you know a little tri team do little tricks once in a while uh, but turning the, or, or would turn the AC off that would be more than a trick I think that's that's a lot, but so I, I think that was that was uh, that just happened uh, by accident. But you know, little things you sometimes road teams do to, to get you off your rhythm, or they don't open up the court in time for you to go shoot, or the ball's got too much air or not enough air in warm ups, or the basket's crooked in warm up. I mean, little stuff happens all the time, and you have to say, hey, uh, that's, that's not right. So you know, little little cheap ways are there in the NBA, but not, nothing major like uh, like no AC, I think. Are you going to try to get it over with quick or drag it out a little bit? Or what? Yeah, no, I, I usually, uh, we get it over with quick. I'm sure there will be some conversation with Mark. Uh, four years ago, uh, I met with Mark, I, I think, on July 2nd, and, and the deal was done. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting it over with. You know, I'm, I don't like the, the period of not knowing what's going on. Um, I don't like the, the fact that, yeah, it's, it's an unknown. So, uh, Mark and I are probably going to get together pretty quick and, uh, and hopefully find a good deal for, for both parties. Is it possible you to work with, with them after you sign to try to get those Marion and Carl and those guys resigned? Yeah, I mean, we'd love to keep the crew. Uh, we, had, we felt like we had a, a good year making it back to the playoffs. Uh, those veterans that are up uh, played a big role for us to, to make it to the playoffs. You know, Vince and Sean were... Uh, obviously getting older, but I mean they both played a lot of games. Uh, they were durable, they were reliable, um, and they, they're loved by the fans, the community, and by their teammates. So, you know, we'd love to keep those guys, but we also saw in 2011, uh, it just always doesn't work that way. You know, other teams scoop in and, and trying to get your players, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But. Another big summer. Uh, we'd, we'd always love to get better, and Mark and Donnie, I'm sure, are going to find a way. Just to be clear, you haven't had any substantial talks yet with Mark about. We have not had any talks yet. Uh, so, but like I said, I'm, I'm sure that that won't take uh, a long time. Is there any chance you won't be a Dallas Maverick? Uh, pretty slim to none. Uh, I mean, we, we all know that I kind of grew up here uh, into the Mavericks. Um, you know, I've been I've been part of this organization for uh, almost two decades now, and it's been a crazy and fun ride. Cubes is like Cube is like a friend slash owner slash mentor to me uh, over the years. And any problems I ever had on and off the floor, uh, uh, he helped me out. So, um, saying all that, I think we're going to get a deal done pretty quick. Last week, that the Houston Rockets may go out to you. Did you laugh when you heard that, or? What? Yeah, I, I think the quote was more, I mean, obviously I saw it, the quote was more they're going for every guy that's out there, and that, I guess, includes me, um, but I doubt I'll be out there long. <laughs> Do you uh, take some satisfaction from having pushed the Spurs to seven games? I mean, nobody else has been able to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a couple of things. I think they were a little surprised by our coverages early on. Um, I think we really took them off guard since we guarded them the same basically for two years. And then we, we switched a lot. We, we kept them off guard, and uh, we really had a great chance then game one, and then we stole game two. And uh, 
maybe we're part of the reason we got them hot. You know, they've been ever since Game Seven. They've been rolling. They've been they've been shooting. They've been driving. They've been uh, really playing well. Um, but yeah, for us it was uh, it was a great series. Just Game Seven. I wish you know you always went on the road, even when you're down a bit. You want to stay in position to, to strike in the second half, but we felt like the deficit was just a little too big already at halftime. We kept plugging, but uh, just uh, we couldn't come all the way back. So game seven was definitely frustrating, but uh, I think we, we had a good season and uh, we had a good playoff series against them just in game seven. They definitely brought their best game and we didn't play our best game, unfortunately. Where you guys need to catch up? Well, you know, like I said, I think in this league, you can always get better. Um, I think you can get another shooter on the wings. Um, I think we get a little more athletic on the perimeter and get a, get a defender. Another lockdown defender is definitely would be good on the perimeter. Um, so you can get another big, you can finish a post up. I mean, in this league, you know, there's always room to improve. Um, but it's funny, if you look at the margin, you know, just a couple more of those wins that we lost, end up giving away at the end. If we win those, uh, you know, we could have moved up and we wouldn't have to see the, the Spurs, and then you never know what would have happened. So, you know, I don't think we're as far away as, as people think. One of those games the Golden State game, the goal didn't go. Would you like to see that rule change? Well, well, I think the rule is in place. Uh, all they would have had to do is actually call the goal 10, and then they could have gone over. Uh, and review it, but since he didn't call it, there was no way to stop the clock, and uh, and Steph dribbled uh, the clock out and made a heck of a play. But you know that's only one play in, in, in a game with, with 82 seasons. You know there's plenty of opportunities we had. There was there was games we were up 10, double digits with a couple minutes to go, and the decision making some we couldn't score anymore. Turn the ball over and. and just put ourselves sometimes uh, in trouble. And um, so, yeah, if we would have just finished a couple of those, we could have been a higher seed. But we like our core. We like the crew we got with, with Jose Monte running our backcourt. We like what they did last year. And, and uh, so we liked our crew, and we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what, what happens and what, what kind of team we got next season. Are you working on the baseball swing at all? Excited for my baseball game, for sure. I haven't worked on my game yet, but uh, June 21st is uh, we're doing it in Frisco again this year. Got some uh, fun. I think Des Bryant's going to come out. I'm playing. Uh, Michael Young said he was going to play. So uh, we're going to have a fun crew and come on out and uh, support us for a good cause. Oh, next week. Uh, you got any plans for your birthday? On uh, Thursday. Turning 36, uh, probably gonna have an easy one on Friday. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little party. Uh, come on by if you want. I think it's at a spot called Le Vu. <laughs> Friday night, it's gonna be hopping. And then uh, Saturday is the baseball game, so next week's gonna be busy. And I'm, all, I'm an old man, so I gotta get my rest now. Thomas, real quick, who you up? Who you think gonna win it? Championship. Uh, you know, I'm clueless there. Uh, you know, usually you can kind of see developments here and there, but I was clueless last year. The Spurs almost had it in six and ended up losing seven. And this year kind of is the same way. It really could go both ways, you know. If LeBron doesn't cramp up, uh, they could be up 2-0. If, if San Antonio doesn't miss four free throws and turn the ball over down the stretch, they could be up 2-0. So... This series is uh, is very even matched. They're, uh, both teams are the best teams that we got right now. They represent us the the right way. There's a great team. There's great individuals, great players, and uh, it's been it's been a fun series. But who wins? I'm absolutely clueless. But as a fan, fun to watch. You know, if you don't if you don't root for one of the teams and you don't really care, you just watch. You know, because you love the sport. I think it's it's the greatest thing ever. Donald Sterling just wish that whole thing just go away. Well, I think uh, our new commission made it pretty clear that, that he wanted Mr. Sterling out of the league. And, um, so I guess as players, and, uh, the union, we just got to be patient and you know kind of let the, let the whole thing run its course. 
Um, but I don't think there's anything at this point uh, the players of the union can do. Uh, but the NBA has a, has a clear stance and all the players are behind it.